guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the brand Flomar. These are available right now, so in the description box below I will link the Flomar site, I will link their Instagram page, and I will link my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from today's video. So we do have five bright things to look at today, and let's go ahead and get started. So first we have Miami Sunset, and this is a very bright, almost neon red, but it does have hints of orange to it as well. So here's our first coat of Miami Sunset. This stuff is covered really well here on this first coat. I am going to go in for a second coat. You'll notice on my ring finger, the third finger, that um, I have some serious ridges in my nails. So if it covered well on the other two nails, I called it on two coats. But this, this finger that I'm painting right now does have ridges, and I did have to add an extra coat on that nail in particular on every swatch photo. So this does cover completely in two coats. You are going to want top coat because it dries waxy, but nothing's difficult to remove. So there is two coats. Next up we have Salmon Sashimi, and this is, I would call this a pastel neon orange cream. Here's our first coat of Salmon Sashimi. This one also covers really, really well here on this first coat. These do have very smooth, easy to work with formulas. I think this is a fantastic brush. It's not too wide where I am flooding my cuticles, but it's also not super skinny where I need a million brush strokes to cover my nail. So I really like this kind of brush. So this is completely opaque in two coats. This is also going to dry on the waxy side, so you will want top coat to finish this off, but nothing again will dry textured or be difficult to remove. So there is two coats. Next up we have Source of Energy, and I would call this a pastel neon chartreuse cream. So here's our first coat of Source of Energy. This covers like surprisingly super well in this first coat. Definitely thought this would be a three coater on me. I was able to get complete opacity in to, depending on your application, maybe I worked a little bit thicker this day, but I feel like this is a pretty solid two coater. So here's our second coat and that does cover completely in two coats. I didn't have any kind of running pooling or staining with anything in today's video either. You are gonna want top coat to finish this off because it does dry on the waxy side just like everything else in this collection. So there is two coats. Next up we have Slow Down the Rhythm and this is a kind of brighter primary blue cream. Here's our first coat of Slow Down the Rhythm. This one covers really, really well here in this first coat. Almost a one coater, but it can deepen and even just a little bit. So I am gonna show you what a second coat looks like today. But again, a very smooth, very easy to work with formula, no running, pulling, or staining. So here is our second coat, and that does cover completely in two coats for me. Just like everything else, this is gonna dry down to a waxy-like finish, so you are gonna want top coat to just give it a nice, plump, finished look. Nothing's gonna be difficult to remove or dry textured either, so there is two coats. And lastly for today, we have Funky Magenta, and I would call this a neon magenta cream. And here's our first coat of Funky Magenta. Again, this covers really, really well here on this first coat. Um, not quite a one coater, but very, very close. Very smooth formula, no running, pooling, or staining. I'm thoroughly impressed with everything in this collection. Everything has a fantastic formula, fantastic coverage, very beginner-friendly and easy to work with polishes. So this is completely opaque in two coats. Again, you are going to want top coat because it does dry waxy, but nothing is difficult to use or work with. So there is two coats. I was actually really surprised about this, but Slow Down the Rhythm is my favorite. Um, I don't usually, I mean, blues are fine and I, and I wear them on occasion and everything, but these kind of more bright blues aren't usually super complimentary on me, but this one has like almost a dusty kind of feel to it. And it's really, really beautiful. And I think it's seasonally appropriate year round. I don't think there's one season that this couldn't be worn in. I think it's gorgeous. It'll be beautiful for a glitter base, like it, to use a topper on top of. I think this is really, really beautiful. So Slow Down the Rhythm was my favorite. And guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of these polishes. Let me know if you plan on picking any of them up and let me know what your favorite was. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time.